a Dune 2K or Emperor remaster to coincide with a movie release. Right. I think the Dune RTS franchise, as in the the Westwood-style Dune games, are officially dead. There is no coming back from that, because in order to have a continuation of those, like with the same lineage, uh, you know, Dune 3000 or Emperor 2 or something like that, or to have a, a remaster or remake of the old games, you would need EA uh, to agree to it, because they own a lot of the rights to the games themselves. If it's to do with Dune 2, you would need to get the Westwood programmers who own some of the code rights. And um, and you would also need the Herbert Estate on board. Uh, because the, the old Dune games were, were licensed from the old movie from 1984, uh, I don't know if you would need Dino De Laurentiis and Universal on board as well. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. So you would need all those parties to be working together. They would all have to sign off on this because they all own bits of the license. I'm not sure if Universal or De Laurentiis do, but they were the ones that it was licensed from because it, the, the games were based on the film, not the books. The Herbert Estate have sued EA before because they didn't agree that EA had inherited the rights from Westwood. So when, uh, when EA released, I think, D2K on the PlayStation and then when, the, when Emperor went up, Herbert Estate took exception to that because they were like, hold on, you didn't license it from us. And EA is like, yeah, we don't need to because we own Westwood. Uh, so I think EA rightfully won that, but I think that might be why the Herbert Estate does not like EA. I don't think that there's any goodies or baddies in this Herbert Estate versus EA. Uh, if anything, EA is, is more so in the rights here. Uh, so the only way you could, unless they were to resolve this, which I don't think it will ever be resolved, so I don't think the old Dune games will ever be released on GOG or Steam or anything like that, they're not going to agree. So either uh, it's a, a new Dune game based on the new film that's just the same RTS style as the old ones, in which case you don't need the licenses, but in that case, uh, because it will be based on the new film, the company that owns the rights to make Dune games based on the new Dune film is Funcom. So, uh, so they would have to be the ones either publishing it or developing it. Now, Funcom have worked. Don't read too much into this. Funcom have worked with Petroglyph before uh, on Conan or something like that, and apparently that was all right. I don't really know, but. Um, don't read that as a possible thing that might happen. But in, in that case, EA wouldn't be required. But there, there, it's, a, it's a huge mess of, uh, of legalities. EA is more so in the rights here, that doesn't sound right. It's weird, but, you know, looking at the actual... Because uh, this was a, a, a... I was digging up legal documents for the old uh, Dune Duck that we, we did last year. And... There was this, this lawsuit, basically, where the Herbert Estate was saying, you don't have the rights, EA, to sell Dune games. And EA absolutely did have the rights, because they owned the rights, they got them from Westwood. And they were, the Herbert Estate was saying, we didn't sell the rights to you, we sold them to Virgin. Well, they, no, they, they sold... So, Herbert Estate sold it to De Laurentiis and Universal. Universal then licensed it to Virgin, Virgin gave the rights to Cryo and then Westwood, and then EA bought Westwood and acquired the portion of the rights that Westwood had. But the portion of the rights that Westwood had didn't allow Westwood to make Dune games involving characters from the books, which was why it was never Duke Leto. It was never, um, you know, the actual Baron Harkonnen. It was always their own characters. Because they had the, the rights to the Dune name based on the uh, on the film, which is why they, they still use the Harvester from the uh, from the film. But they didn't have the rights to make anything based on the books. It's just nuts. <laughs>